All right, fifth grade, welcome to the second lesson for week 23. Today, we are going to be reviewing what we've learned about fractions, decimals, and multiplication. So, no division today. Instead, we're going to be working on some review. Pull out the second worksheet in your packet that says 5.1, remembering. That's what we're going to be working with today, 5.1, remembering. All right, first of all, let's review what we've learned in the past about fractions. Remember that fractions and decimals are the same idea. So if I have a fraction that says 2 over 10, I read that as 2 tenths. And what I've learned about decimals is that 2 tenths gets written like this. Hmm, I don't quite remember that, Mr. Ivan. That was a long time ago. All right, well, let's look at some graphics to help you remember. All right, here's a little graphic. We've seen the fraction bars before. The number one represents a whole. It's kind of like eating an entire pie. How much did you eat? One. What percentage would that be? 100%. All right, well, what if I cut that pie into two equal pieces? Now I've cut it in half. I represent a half with a 1 over 2, or in decimal form, it's represented as 5 tenths. Or how about the one I just talked about, 2 tenths? Well, let's go up here. What if I cut the pie into 10 pieces, and I eat one of those pieces? Well, I eat 1 tenth of the pie, which I represent as 1 tenth. All right, now that we've reviewed fractions, let's do one more without looking at the chart. All right, let's take a look at this one. 85 over 100. 85 over 100, I can say 85 hundredths. Or like I just reviewed with that graphic, it's represented as 85 hundredths, 0 0.85. All right, now we're going to review what we've learned about multiplication. Now, if I'm looking at a big multiplication problem, I might say 400 times 70. You might be getting a little nervous and might be thinking, whoa, that's a huge multiplication problem. I can't do that. Well, remember, it's a little bit simpler than what you think. You just have to ask yourself, what is 4 times 7? Oh, well, 4 times 7, that's a math fact. I've practiced it. That is 28. And now, how many zeros were in the problem? 1, 2, 3. Since there's three zeros in the problem, I'm going to write three zeros in my answer. 1, 2, 3. And I can now see that my answer is 28,000. All right, let's do that one more time. Let's say you've got a big one, 900 times 50. All right, well, before you get nervous and say, hey, what's 900 times 50? I don't know. All you have to do is multiply the first two numbers. What's 9 times 5? Oh, that's 45. Now you add the amount of zeros. How many zeros are in the problem? Three. So I put three zeros at the end. And I can see that 900 times 50 gets me 45,000. All right, fifth grade, put that into practice today. And when you look at 5.1 remembering, Number 18 is extra credit. You heard that right. Number 18 is extra credit.